Hey y'all, so CJ So Cool posted on his Instagram story and he is tired of living in a mansion on a golf course. If you want to find out why, go ahead and keep watching. <sighs> when people ask me how it feels to live in a mansion on a golf course, I really can't explain because it sucks. Look, where he going? What is he doing, bro? <sighs> I ain't even got no clothes on, bro. I'm just trying to chill in my own backyard and I got company. What <laughs> took break every day, bro. Not even every day. Every hour, there's someone new standing right here or they're just walking in my backyard looking for golf balls. and They all suck. Look at this. Check this out. Terrible, bro. Tragic. Go home. I guess CJ should have thought about how having a golf course at the back of your house would affect how you do stuff in your home and how you do stuff in the backyard. But let me know your opinion on this in the comment section. I wonder if he wants to move now because of this situation. Do you think he will move or will he just keep dealing with it? Let me know in the comments. We on the same page. I just took mine down, man. That's why I asked that question. By yourself now, check me out. I took mine down, man. Hey. Damn, <laughs> that was a lot right there, man. I should have probably read this before I took mine down, but it's too late now. People think it's cool to live on a golf course until you actually do. And then you got people like this in your backyard every day looking for golf balls. People like this swinging golf balls and they don't have no accuracy and then they end up busting out your windows to your crib. Yeah, it's crazy. By the way, happy rain day. Would you drive a Lamborghini Urus every day? Or would you drive a Dodge Supercharged Trackhawk every day? Which car would you be riding in, man, if you was me? Or if I was you, which one should I be riding in? However that go. I choose the Urus, man. Because this car symbolizes a whole nother level of success. And of course, you can't look at someone's car and judge their success. But judging off this car... It's a very successful person behind the steering wheel. That car right there is very typical, even though you don't really see it everywhere. But, I mean, it's still just a Dodge, man. At the end of the day, it's just a Grand Cherokee with a big motor in that mud, bruh. Through my garage, and I realized I had a bunch of shoes in here that I need to ask a question about. Do people still wear Yeezys or not, nah, man? More specifically, these 350 uh, Boost, do people still wear them or not? Nah? Well, I'm currently rocking these, man. The space joints, bro. Gotta go get my mail. You know what I'm saying? Even in the rain, we must still come outside and check for bills. Well, I'm currently rocking the TikTok shop that I bought, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> really only came out here for this TikTok shop that I bought, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> Y'all thought I was playing, huh? Nah, I'm not. This is crazy, bro. Don't nobody want to live like this? I don't know you. I don't trust you, and you suck at golf. Oh my God, terrible, bro. I'm on backyard. Get my hair done so y'all can quit hating on your boy, man. So y'all get in there before. Stay tuned for the the glow up, man. Corey SSG, aka Corey and Carmen. Um, Corey went live on his Instagram, and he is really, really mad at Carmen. He starts talking about how she's an immigrant, and he just had to get married to her so that she could stay in the country. He said something about her mom made her do it. He is going off on Carmen because he hasn't talked to his kids. He hasn't seen his kids. He wants to communicate with them, but she will not let him. Now, I don't know the whole story about all of this, but if Carmen is holding the kids away from Corey just to be spiteful or just because she doesn't think he should see them, that's a problem. But if there is another thing going on, then let me know down in the comment section. Is there a reason why Corey cannot speak to his kids or see his kids? Has he done something? What is going on with that situation? Now, in this next clip, you will hear Corey talking on his IG Live. And yes, he is cussing. He is going off. He is tired of not seeing his kids, not speaking to them. He is done. He says that Carmen is going through some things, but she just needs to get over it and let him see his sons. He also said that he wants to raise his sons the way they should be raised, and only he can do that. So here is the IG Live right here. It's very simple. Now, I hate that I had to go to the internet with the real shit. I did my part and blew this motherfucking phone up from different numbers so I could talk to you directly. Because I don't know what the f 
you going through right now. Now, I could be that nigga to sit here and just clown your ass and entertain this shit and make my bad. But it's not about no fucking money. Fuck money. I got money. It's about my fucking kids. It's about my boys. You hear what I'm saying? It's very simple. Now, I respect any woman that can see the real for what it is. But for any one of you females that think this shit a joke, fuck you, bitch. And keep watching and keep making this money going to my fucking pocket. I thank you. You eventually see the real for what it really is and what time do. So keep talking shit. Keep thinking shit a joke. Keep laughing at another nigga pain. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to shit on you. I'm going to flex on you. I'm going to show you the life that you can live that you can't live because you're too stuck in the major and you're blind. Go work for your boss. Go work for your master. Because it's all you fucking know. Go struggle for your nine to five job because it's all you know. I ain't in that lifestyle and I left that shit five years ago. Because I saw where God was showing me that you don't see. Because you still stuck in the matrix and you still working for your boss. You're still dealing with the matrix bullshit. I don't got time to deal with that. I'm going to keep this shit authentic as I can. And I'm going to stay as humble as I can. And I'm going to work through God as much as I can. But when it comes to my boys, bro, I'm going to tell y'all something. I don't fucking play. I'm not the guy to get on the internet and show that I want my kids every fucking day. Let me tell you why. Because I don't want my kids to have to deal with these fake-ass industries. With these fake-ass people. My kids are getting on the internet and deal with fake-ass people. I refuse to let my kids go through the, that dumb-ass shit. I'm rich in real life, not on the internet. So I'm going to show my kids how to be successful in real life without having to deal with pleasing fake-ass people that only want something. It's very simple. With that being said, I thank you guys that taking what I'm saying in consideration and taking my feelings in consideration. I'm a, I'm a fucking black man in America, and y'all know for a fact it's hard for us to be a man because at the end of the day, they like to side with the woman. That's why it's a lot of sissies out here nowadays. That's why it's a lot of faggies out here nowadays because they don't have a real man to raise them. It's very simple. And a lot of you females allow that shit because y'all think it's cool. Oh, yeah, oh, he, he, that's my bitch, that's my nigga, that shit is not cool. Now, I don't judge nobody. If you chose to go down that route, that's you. I'm going to treat you just as well as you want to be treated, with respect. But at the end of the day, I know that's not right. So I'm going to treat my kids, I'm going to show my kids exactly how to be a fucking man. Very simple. Now, I hope and I pray that this girl get some scissors in her head and answer the fucking phone so I can talk to her. But most definitely talk to my kids. Because at the end of the day, let me tell y'all something. I didn't want this shit. She let the people that's in her ear make this shit happen. And I'm the type of nigga, once you let somebody else get in your ear, hold on. Once you let somebody else get in your ear and, and, and fool you from what you knew for all these years, you chose that side. And you know what they say, the grass ain't always green on the other side. And she's witnessing that right now. That's why she's acting the way she's acting. And a lot of you females, y'all can relate. That's why y'all sign with her right now. It's very simple. I understand how this shit goes. You can't fool me. I've been in this shit for years, a decade. If a nigga right now or a bitch right now that's watching me, if you ain't where I'm at or past me in life, you can't relate. And I don't expect y'all to relate. I'm very well. I'm very well. Give me a second. So like I say, I don't know what the fuck going on with her right now, but all Corey wants is to be my, be my kids like, it's very simple. You can go fuck any nigga you want, because at the end of the day, every last one of those niggas you fucking with, they can't fuck with me. They're not on my level. They are little boys to me. Respectfully. No disrespect to them niggas, but they can't even tell you that there are little boys compared to Corey and his motherfucking G. Them niggas ain't done shit nowhere near my level than I done did in the lives that I've been living so far. And that's just very simple. If they ain't, if, if they ain't in the same vibration, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna talk my shit. I want everybody to hear this shit. No, 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 listen. I'm in the club right now. Let's stand up inside real quick. I don't want to take send it to you. Listen to what I'm saying. If y'all can't understand what I'm saying right now, it's not meant for you to understand. But I guarantee y'all, every father that's in my life right now, Every male, listen, this man had to deal with this shit for 11 years. You said you had to deal with this for 11 years, right? You got divorced 11 years ago, you had to go through the same shit that I'm going through, right? With your kids, with your girls, right? Exactly. What did you say? Did you have to go through this with your kids? 
You had to fight to see your kids for 11 years, right? So you can really relate to what I'm saying, right? That's all I'm saying. People that don't have kids can't relate. I don't expect y'all to relate. I got three boys, bro. And I've been in my kids' life. Except for Aiden. Aiden was the only kid a whole year went by before I knew about him. Because I didn't know. But when I found out about my son, I was in my son's life since day one, since, since I found out. It's very simple. To this day, I talk to Aiden every other day. Aiden call my phone every other day. Literally, and I talk to my kids. And I see my kids in real life. But it's been five months since I've been separated from this girl. I don't know where they at. I don't know that she barely talked to him. Yeah, barely let me talk to him. I call him. You, you know? So it's like, this shit is lame, bro. A lot of y'all females support this shit. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all lame as fuck. And that's why a lot of y'all kids ain't nowhere in life where they're supposed to be at. Because y'all ready to be friends with y'all kids and let y'all kids get over a lot of shit. And y'all ready like, to hold the kids back from the father. This shit not cool, bro. And y'all just stick. Y'all wonder why these kids act the way they act when they get out here in this, in, in this world. A woman can't raise a man and a man can't raise a woman. I'm going to stand on that. Very simple. So, that's all I got to say. Tell them to post that. And that's all I got to say. I want to see my kids. The girl, listen, listen. I don't give a fuck if a rich man come and get his girl the best Valentine's Day. If that's what matters to her the most, let that happen. I want my boys. Because obviously you don't give a fuck about them as much as you say you do. Because you rather them just live off a fucking tablet. A tablet can't teach my fucking boys, bro. Simple. I'm going to stand on that. I'm just sick of this shit, dog. Like, real talk. So, fuck the internet for right now. I'm making my money off y'all. I'm gonna continue to make my money off y'all. It's very fucking easy. Hell, I try to teach y'all how to do the same thing, but y'all love the government. Y'all love the struggle. Y'all love to be in the matrix. Y'all love to rent the nine to five. Y'all don't want to. Y'all, y'all, y'all don't want to know how to be financial free. Y'all don't want to learn how to wake up every day and live your motherfucking dreams. Y'all don't want to wake up every day and do what you chose to do. You want to wake up every day and work for your fucking boss. And I understand that, so I'm gonna continue to do what I do. But. For the people that don't want to live that life, you know where they go. Tune in. Link in my bio. Very simple. I ain't got to do too much talking. I'm not one of you niggas that got to talk too much. Because the walk, walk for itself. The proof is in the pudding. Turn your YouTube on and go watch my videos, my nigga. And go look at how I'm living in real life. This shit ain't just on the internet. This shit in real life, to this day, it ain't no cap in my rap. So, with that being said, I'm gonna say cheers to y'all. Cause I don't know which rock y'all gonna choose. But I chose my rock already and I'm on it. I know one damn thing though. That girl losing her goddamn mind right now. I just want the world to know. Corey ain't choose this. She chose this. But I did choose to leave. Because I knew for a fact that I wasn't going to deal with that dumb ass shit no more. And as I left, that's when I realized the real truth. <laughs> you knew you was an immigrant this whole time. You knew your goal was to marry a U.S. citizen to get citizenship the whole time. Your mama had you doing that. That's why when you was working that Hyundai plant job, you was working under a fake ID. See, I couldn't understand none of this shit at first. Because I'm from the country. I don't know nothing about no motherfucking immigration and all that dumb ass shit. I don't know nothing about this. But I learned with you. And now that I know everything, it all makes sense. Now, I don't know how the fuck I became a victim of this shit, but the motherfucker, it happened. But that ain't got shit to do with the motherfucking lives that we brought into this world. They're not immigrants. They're U.S. citizenship. Citizens. And at the end of the day, those are my fucking boys. 
And I'm gonna make sure that I raise my kids to be the man they should be. No matter how bad y'all, no matter how mad y'all don't like me, how bad y'all don't like me, how mad y'all don't like me, I don't give a fuck about none of that. That ain't got shit to do with them boys. Now, I was being nice. I can really rock some shit. I got the money to do so. <laughs> don't get it fucking twisted. The bad talk. Why you think we going to war right now? Cause Biden know the bad talk and President Trump know the bad talk. In real life. So with that being said, man, I'm off this shit. I know the shame room gonna take this. I know they gonna post it. That's why I had to go this route. Because if I can't get your attention one way, I'm gonna get that bitch another way. It's very simple. You chose this. I didn't chose this. Only God knows that Corey wanted to do this shit privately. We ain't going to no motherfucking internet with no real life shit. But I hate that I got to go to it. It's the only fucking way to get their attention I get. I can text your phone, call you, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That shit just don't, all right, say next. I know how to get your attention. Let me go public with it. And do not get me to post in more fucking videos because I got a lot of content in my motherfucking phone to show y'all the truth. Don't get it twisted. Please don't get it twisted. But yeah, man, I'm out of here.